YouTube, it's Jen and Brad, and we're here a day late for our weekly weigh-in, and let's start with the numbers. I am 5 feet 4 inches tall, started this journey at 262 pounds in December of 2012. Last week, after coming back from vacation, where are we? Oh, from Brussels to Amsterdam, so um, over a two-week period, I was up to 181.8, which is a terrible danger zone for me. Um, and this week I'm at 180.4, which is a 1.4 pound loss, and I'm still over 180, which That's makes still awesome. me upset. So, go ahead. Six feet tall, starting weight 320. Last week after the trip, I was up to 229. This week I'm at 225.6 for a 3.4 pound loss. That's great. So let's talk about um, what we've been doing since we got back from the trip to try to get back on track. Okay. So you have been an exercise maheen. Um, but, so I'm trying to get back into my yoga and I'm in checking out a new gym. So in order to kind of test them out, um, I ended up doing yoga there Saturday and Monday at my old gym on Tuesday, at the new gym again on Wednesday. Um, and again, I'll be there Friday and Saturday this week. But then also just being more mindful of what I'm eating and tracking. So okay. I think that's helped. Um, yeah, what did we do? Okay, hold on. And that included going out to eat a few times this week. That's what so. I'm trying to look at. So, yeah, we went out to, oh, yeah, you had your, your best pork or whatever. What did you have at Ellis? Oh, the best pork chop I ever had. And then we had the next day. Brunch. Lunch with, yeah, lunch with Panda. So, mm -hmm. um, so you did great being able to be on track but uh -huh. not have to change your life. Correct. And stop living, so. And I got to cook my dinners. I had my lamb chops one night, my fish one and night. And what did you do on Sunday? You prepared for the week. You went out and bought food mm -hmm. for the week. So you are, yep. like, on en fuego. I'm trying. Um, I have been working out, basically, since we got back. I think I've worked out almost every day. I did about one. How did you know that? Because I know you were scheduled. Okay, so, um. So I have been doing my teaching combat four times a week and working out with my trainer four times a week. Um, that's a lot of working out. But I have to say, because I'm, I'm doing, I'm talking about what I'm doing with my trainer so that I have some sort of record of it because I haven't been writing it down. And so I can only remember my last workout. So what he did to me yesterday when I thought he was trying to kill me was... You say that every time you work out with he him. He like comes up with new ways to try to kill me and it's like, listen... You're paid to train me. If you kill me, it's not in your best financial interest because you won't get paid anymore. So he's taking me right to the edge of almost dead and then resuscitates me. So we did a new uh, maximum weight for my deadlifts of 145. I did 30 deadlifts at 145. And then he did, we did this horrible 15 minute workout where you do 50 deadlifts of 95 pounds and 50 sit-ups. 40 deadlifts, 40 sit-ups. 30 deadlifts, 30 sit-ups. 20, 10. So you have 15 minutes to complete it. Clearly, I did not complete all of them. But I got through the 50, 40, I did 30 deadlifts and 25 sit-ups. And that was 15 minutes. So um, I thought I was going to die. I literally, he pushes me to the point where I'm literally like, I might pass out right here. But I don't, and I'm just, I'm very, I'm sorry, hold on. Her nose is running. I'm very happy that I'm getting to be pushed in this new direction. And I had done CrossFit, um, I think in 2013, the end of 2013. And I liked it, but it was a group of people, and so I didn't get one-on-one -on -one intention. And I'm sure I was doing everything ass backwards, and that's why at the end I had to quit because I was hurting myself. Here, I'm doing the same CrossFit workouts with him, but he knows exactly how to do it. And he's watching me every step and yelling at me every step on how to do it correctly. So, how many he's yelling at you? Oh, you didn't hear. Where were you? Were you here yesterday when we were doing it? Mm -hmm. I don't even no, know. Was... Oh, yesterday I did it during the day. I don't even know if he looked up because he just kept yelling at me, hips, hips. Because every time I did the deadlift, I wasn't thrusting my hips forward enough or with the rowing, arms and legs. Like... Yes, he's always. But you love it. Yes, I do because I have not. I'm not comfortable enough yet. There's so many working parts. Like to do a proper deadlift, 
I'll be focusing on like one, two, and three, and I'll forget to do step four. And he's like, you know, so it's good. I like knowing that I have somebody watching to make sure that my form is correct so I don't hurt myself. Um, and speaking of hurting myself, my wrist, I see the doctor on Monday and then I hopefully have surgery, um, not the next day, but a week from Tuesday. So I'm hoping to get this sucker fixed because I am in so much pain right now, it's not even funny. So, our upcoming week. Or mm -hmm. should we talk about, it was his birthday mm -hmm. on Monday. Yes. And Sunday, we went out with some friends, and they're like, what are you doing Memorial Day weekend? We have... Why are you sharing certain things? I thought... I thought you don't like posting that stuff online. Right? Oh, I don't think... Oh, okay. I don't think anybody watching this is going to try to um, break into our house. Okay. And if you do try to break into our house, we have the cat sitter and her, her boyfriend here, so don't try to break in. You're not going to get anything. <laughs> um, but... Uh, we went out with friends who are going to Dubai for three days and they're like why don't you come to Dubai with us we have an extra hotel room you can stay for free so and it's Brad's birthday and he wants to travel so he's like I want to go to Dubai so but you seemed interested too yeah I'm just it's a hundred degrees in Dubai it's next month it's a hundred degrees um, so first thing I did after we bought plane tickets found myself a body combat class in Dubai <laughs> so we may only be there for 72 hours but one of those hours is going to sp be spent doing body combat so, what else? We're actually there for four days. Uh, no, we're not. We're there Sunday, all, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We leave Wednesday at 12.55 a.m. No. Yeah. At 11.55 p.m. that night, midnight. Yeah. We'll, we'll double check. Because yeah. I think you're wrong. I know I'm right. Because I looked at it, I'm like, crap, we are literally going to be three full days oh. there and sleeping at 12. We don't even get to go to bed. Tuesday. Sleep on the plane. Yeah. So... Okay, so our upcoming week, what are we doing? We More of the same. So May. is what is your new exercise plan going to be once you start the new gym? Um, Saturday, Monday, Wednesday. And are you going to jog anymore or are you not really jogging? Yes, and then once I start there, then I'll start jogging again because i got to prep for a, a half marathon. Okay, cool. Yep. And um, so I guess that's it. What, this weekend, we have your birthday brunch. That will be a little challenging. But we'll one, be fine. one bad one meal, meal isn't bad. Okay. Anything else we need to talk about? In Nashville coming up? Nashville's coming up. We're going to get to see Ginger and Ashley. Cannot wait. And Ashley's bringing her kids, including baby Rowan. Oh. So, uh, I'm very, very, very excited. Like, literally, Brad, that's one month away. I know. So, I'm very, very excited. I, I am. I hope this is fun. Um. I mean, just seeing Ashley and Ginger makes it worth it, but I'm excited. So, anything else? I think that's it for me. Okay, so we will see you next week. We hope you all are big losers. Kick some fat asses, and we love your faces. We will see you next week, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.